the best sounding car in Forza Horizon 3. What is up everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking ourselves a look. Uh, English? Question mark? This is the Bentley uh, EP10 Speed 6. Why can't I hear it? Oh goodness, is it broken? Oh my goodness. That's a tree. Goodness, it sounds so good. What is this? The seventeenth barn? Eighteenth? Is is that a two thousand? Dotson, two thousand? No, it's it's Sunbeam Tiger. I see. That's stupid. You're wasting my time. I I could care less. You know, not then just copying textures from Forza Six and. It's easy money right here. Well, everybody, it's official. Uh, the 17th barn is out. And uh, just take a look at where it is quickly. Uh, obviously, Surfer's Paradise. You guys should know this by now. But um, it's the intersection here, the plantation. And then you just follow the little road. And shabang, right there next to a the little curvy thing. It's, I mean, that's the most easy location considering this is like the highway right here sounds so good let's just do a quick tunnel run I love the um, the backfires from the exhaust because they're just like they're like flames. They're they're not like flame flames. It's just like powder fire. Like. Sounds so good. This like half gas right now. You just plant it. Oh my goodness. It's pretty cool. I mean considering with weight reduction removing 100 pounds, it still weighs almost 4,000. I mean it's it's a two-ton car and it, it moves. Just at like five, five and a half, it just pops. Oh, wow. Oh, my
speed we can get. Um, estimated, obviously, the same attack speed build it is maxed out with all of drive, but we're just gonna get like a rough estimate. So it's stopping the pull at about 240. Um, I know it'll it'll obviously keep on going, but that's that's what it is from now. I'm feeling fifth gear. Let's do some pulls, like pull into a Maserati. That is. Oh my goodness. It's so Turn around when it is safe to do so. Like a 60 to 60 to 160 pull. We hit 60, we're going. Oh my goodness, we're way past 160. Way past 160. I love the backfires on this thing. Oh my goodness. And the paint job is absolutely beautiful. Pop. And pop again. We'll pop again. Yeah. There we go. Right now, yep. 6k. I would definitely recommend checking this thing out. I would buy the pack just for this thing. It's it sounds so good. It's not incredibly fast, like this thing's maxed out mid S2. Yeah, so this is the car fully maxed out, um, race tires, widest, with all wheel drive. So uh we've got 1044. Excuse me, I was 22 off. Drivetrain loss, factor it in, okay. 960 foot-pounds of torque, 3,500 pounds within a 6.3 liter. So, it's, it's heavy. It's really heavy. I mean, you can have Miatas that weigh half this with that much power. What just happened? I have no clue what just happened. You know what just happened is uh, someone's someone's streaming to my Xbox while I'm trying to play on it. Anyways, there we go. There's some statistics. 550 grand, pretty expensive though. So here are the stock stats. We are S1811 all-wheel drive, 633 horsepower, 619 foot-pounds of torque. We had 2,500 pounds, or 40, 45 little bit of a difference there that's it you can't do anything else come on bro that is amazing dude look at that bro that's so beautiful except it's heavy ridiculously heavy let's look at the radio in this thing look at the wood it's they just cut a tree up into a bunch of little bricks and gorilla glued it onto the... 
Wow. That looks really dank from the back. The tires are really tiny as well. Everything is wood, like the paddle shifters are wood. The dash is wood. Everything is wood. Maybe, maybe Bentley's just selling to the females. That must be what they're doing. The horn sounds just like a real, a true honest Bentley. Now that I look at it, it kind of reminds me of something from Ben Tang.